Hey, it's Mark. I've been thinking about the issue of how medical groups go about deciding to take action. Generally, that's based on how they evaluate the outcome of the action. For example, I guess the, the, the classic one in my mind is the, the decision on whether or not to sell their medical group to a hospital, to, uh, to a large regional or national group. It doesn't make any difference. They often weigh that decision based on its merits. In other words, the merits of that deal. As opposed to considering the opposite. What are the merits of not doing the deal? What will happen negatively, another way of looking at this, if they do do the deal? You know, in a way, this is like... Um, Frederic Bastiat, the, um, the French political economist from the, it was the 19th century, I guess. He lived from the early 1800s to, no, I guess the, the mid-1800s. He had a, um, an essay called That Which Is Seen and That Which Is Not Seen. His, his point there being that uh, governments legislated to correct a problem, but no one really considers what problems they create when they create the legislation to correct the problem. So for example, in the United States, we had the great, you know, the great society movement, Lyndon Johnson, supposedly to help the poor prime programs, public housing, and in actuality what it did was created a, almost a permanent underclass dependent upon public housing and other government programs. It goes deeper than that too, it's what other avenues would have been taken, what other avenues would have been pursued had an action not taken place. So the, the intersection back with our medical group sale example is what would the group have done? What are the possible universes for the group's actions for its development, for its future if it chose not to sell? And conversely, what worlds, what options, what impacts are going to be created unintentionally uh, by the coming to the decision to sell? So for example, in a in a medical group, it's, well, what's going to happen after the first employment agreement you know, term expires? Uh, on what terms will we actually be renewed? Uh, will we, in essence, become indentured servants to the new master? So the bottom line here is, in making a decision in a medical group, a business of any sort, just don't look at the merits of that particular decision. Look at it sort of demerits. Look at the alternatives as well and project them into the future. See if that changes your mind about taking the original action to begin with.